Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to update you on all of my variegated Monstera that I featured throughout my videos. So this Monstera is one that I was propagating in water and I did decide to pot it up in soil um, just because it was kind of an awkward propagation to keep in a bowl. It kept falling out and it was just kind of awkward and the root system had grown significantly so I did decide to pot it up in a really airy mix. So I just mixed some cactus soil with bark and I think that was it because a lot of Monstera do like bark added to their soil just so that it aids in draining faster and drying out faster. So this seems pretty happy so far. It's been potted up for about a week and I think it looks really cute in this light pink pot. So this is the um, Monstera that I'm currently propagating in moss and it seems to be doing really well. The root system has grown quite a lot I would say. The roots look very healthy. They actually seem to be more green compared to when I was growing them in water. I'm not really sure why the color would change. Maybe there are nutrients in the moss and that's adding to the the green color. I'm not really sure. I actually did get a few people reach out and just let me know that growing in sphagnum moss is not a sustainable way to propagate your plants because when they harvest the moss from, I think like uh, the bogs or the body of water, it uh, disrupts the ecosystem. So I definitely wanna look into this more. I don't wanna be contributing to any practices that are not sustainable and that are harming the natural ecosystems. So I might do some research on this and report back to you guys on my thoughts and if there are any places in the world that do this sustainably. I am also propagating one of my Monstera in water just to kind of see the difference between moss versus water and I really do think in moss it grows faster and I am interested in seeing how um, it transitions from going from moss to soil. I really do like pr uh, propagating in water just because most people do have access to water so I think it is a little bit easier to do it this way so I, I would recommend doing it in water as well if that's all you have access to and this plant does seem to be healthy and growing roots. It just seems to be slower compared to moss. And here's a closer look at the root system. They do seem to be growing well. I did propagate this one after the ones that are growing in moss, so that could be also why the root system smaller, but it does seem to be growing at a slower rate compared to the moss. I also just wanted to point out that this Monstera does have a new growth point, and I'm really excited about that. So right there, you can see that there's new growth coming from the stem. So that is where the new stem is going to emerge and grow a new leaf. So I was really excited to see that. It is currently the winter where I live, but I have noticed a lot of growth on my variegated Monstera. So I'm very, very excited and I can't wait to up update you guys and let you know how that new stem does. And then I also just wanted to update you on my Monstera Thai Constellation. So I did decide to move it to my bedroom where it now receives southern light. So it does receive a few hours of direct sun during the afternoon, but it is winter where I live. So the sun is a lot weaker and I live in the Northeast. So it, the sun isn't as strong compared to other areas of the world. So it seems to be doing a lot better compared to living in a northern window where it got no direct sun. And I also decided to invest in a humidifier that I keep on pretty much all the time. I just have it on a low setting so I'm not using up all the water. And a lot of my plants seem to like it so far. So I'm hoping the brighter light in addition to the humidifier will, will really help this plant thrive and I really hope it prevents the leaves from continuing to brown because that was my biggest concern. Just a lot of the leaves on this type of plant were browning and the browning was spreading to like the whole leaf. So I'm really hoping keeping it here will keep it in good health and I will definitely continue to update you guys and let you know if this continues to work because I haven't noticed any additional browning since I moved it to this room and added the humidifier but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Um, make sure you follow me on my Instagram because that's where I do more daily updates. If you enjoyed watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And I really hope to see you in my next video and have a great rest of your day. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.